So I'm back trying to find these hornets. It's really tough with one person because um, it's hard to lose them in the tree or easy to lose them in the trees. So um, if I don't find the hive, what I'm gonna do is set up some more traps, right? And uh, I'll leave it at that. But we'll see if they're feeding. It's a nice day today. So I already trapped one. It should be in the container. And hopefully trap another and then release it. I have caught another hornet in my trap because it's full of my amazing liquid. He found himself in there. So there's two hornets in there and there's two more feeding on there. So I've trapped myself four hornets. There's two in here and there's two brand new ones in here. And this was a feeder that I had up that I just turned into a trap. I put my glove over it so I can carry it without them getting out and that's kind of blocking it. So I can carry it like this. You can see in here, hornet flying around. There's two in there. These, there's two in here, it's hard to see because I've covered it black. But there are two hornets in there. And I caught one when it was decapitating a yellow jacket. All right, so now I gotta head way down there into the clearing and then release them and see where they go. So this is the clearing. Now I released a head in there and they went that way, so I gotta go behind it because they went on those trees. So I gotta go further down in the opening and see which way they go. So, put a hornet trap over there. You can see it hanging on the tree there. And I've moved to the widest clearings I can. So, I'm gonna put the hornets in my defensive racket case. I don't play tennis anymore, but I use my rackets. And the question is, if the hornet flies that way, then I know the nest is that way. I believe the nest may be that way along the bank, and I think they're flying from there to here, so let's find out. Maybe he'll figure out he can crawl through that hole and get out. He's not very smart. Here he goes, here he goes. He's landed. He's having trouble flying. There he goes, he's getting his orientation. flew into those trees. There's a holding hornet. There he goes. He's looking around. Just landed there. Cleaning himself. Come on, buddy. Fly home. Fly home. Give me a direction. The first one was a no-go. The hornet's cleaning itself. This is a waiting game. Come on, girl, go. It's really annoying sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting. My battery's dying and the hornet's not moving. And if you freak it, then ultimately it's you fly into a tree. So you really want it to fly up, do its GPS orientation, and fly in the direction of the hive and get a get an angle. He's busy cleaning himself. Maybe I throw a leaf. Spook a little bit. Now he moved in my direction. See, their eyesight is so amazing that they can see me. Look, I'm waving and she's reacting to me. She has squirted poison on the leaf. She, you know, she recognizes me as a threat. Okay, I got her lift off and land. Sh shaking my hat. He's not even reacting anymore to it. All right, so I released two of them, and they both went that direction right there. So I'm gonna walk up there very slowly on the way back. So I know the hive is in that direction, so that's good. And look, someone came back for more food. Right when I was sitting on here, they're like, oh, there's food here. Unlike the black tennis racket. Well, I'm coming up the side and look at this beautiful hardwood rotten out tree. This is a, potentially at one point was a natural beehive. You see how it was all open in the middle. And now it's all turning into dirt. Bees may have lived in here at one point. And this is what bees would rely on as homes in the future. But now that the, they're changing that with the forestry 
it's not possible. It's extremely hard to track coordinates with one person in woods like this. Um, that's why you need like radio um, frequency or have many watchers. But I may try to trap for more release and see which way. It looks like there's a clearing possibly down there. Hmm, trying to triangulate, it's tough. And I'm thinking on my way out, those hornets may have been going back to the food source, most likely. Like, oh, I'm gonna go back to the tree of manna where I caught them. And the hive is collapsed and it's all for all. There, there's no, basically there's no responsibility for their hive anymore. I'm sure the hive's collapsed and it's a free for all. And these hornets are just feeding and just, you know, living, living life to its fullest. So I'm giving up for the year for the, for the hunt. Um, it's gotten dark, hard to see. As I made those other excuses, it's very hard to hunt with one person. My master can, <laughs> just not my master. But I have, want to show you something. Whoa, she's gone out. That there is one of the old Suzumets that I trapped. And she got her, I was, uh, she got out of the crawl out. She's uh, highly drenched. And she's cleaning herself off. She won't be flying for a while. She, this is a, a, fu a future queen. And I, how you tell why, look at the, you see that white stuff coming out? That's semen. She has been mated, right? And there is, a uh, queen has no, has no stinger. Oh, you see that white stuff? That's semen coming out of her abdomen. So that is actually a next generation queen. You can also see how orange her head is on it. How orange. So I've kind of messed her up a little bit. You're not going to go anywhere. You really want to... Let me uh, clip her wing. It may seem cruel, but um, she would have made a whole new big mess of problems in the area so every queen you catch is one less potential death so there's a queen I want to see what else we got in here look at all of these hornets where are you going I'm not going anywhere there's another this is a yellow jacket right here On here, these are all these yellow grip jackets. Look at the size of these moths. Not sure what kind of moths these are, but I think these are wax moths. These aren't good guys either. These get in and destroy. Here's another queen. You can tell by the orange head. You see how the head is really orange? I'll try to find. Right? And look how big, actually look how big her abdomen is. See how large, how long, elongated the abdomen is? Right? See, she has no stinger. You see that there? Oops, see you can see there. She's opening up her thorax to try to sting me, but there is no stinger. And that's another queen right there. I can tell by how long that thorax is. Look at that. These guys. I'll make sure they don't go anywhere. This is a yellow jacket, I think, a yellow jacket queen. Again, really long thorax. You can tell by their super long thorax. See if it has a stinger. Nope, doesn't have a stinger. Squeeze on her thorax, and you can see there is no stinger coming out there. Look. That's a new, that's a next generation. She would have made another hive on it. This girl too. Now this to me looks like the more traditional queen. But she could have been just a really big worker. 
But look how yellow. Actually, you know. You know, I'm mistaken. This is a queen. This is a boy. <laughs> Definitely. And the reason why he had white stuff, because he doesn't have a stinger, because boys don't have stingers. So he would have been trying to mate with a queen. Here's another, you can tell by the really long thorax. Really long thorax. So my bad. This is a boy, not a girl. That's why he's really yellow. This to me looks a lot more like a queen. And her head, you see how orange her head is compared to his is more yellow? That's a boy. Make sure. Yeah. And you see if we can see the horn, the hornet. This is like a regular hornet. Look at the comparison. You look at the comparison between between this hornet and that hornet. So you can see how many hornets we have caught in just one trap. This is just one trap. Yeah. One, two, three. <sighs> For a Susan man that I count here, it's good. Uh, I think this, this is, see, look at the size, look at the size of her abdomen. There's one boy, he wasn't going to do much. So, there you go. The carnage of the trap. <laughs>